last week in the race for the top four. The only winners were Tottenham Hotspur. This week, it looks like Manchester United are the winners. Cristiano Ronaldo, his 50th club career hat-trick. His 60th, if you include playing for Portugal as well. It is just an outstanding achievement. Michael Ball and Jose Enrique, both of the players, uh, would have had experience against him back in the Premier League, of course. Looking at the run in here, some crucial, some key fixtures. But I need to ask, what's happened to Arsenal? They were in pole position just a week and a half ago, and now it's slowly slipping away, Borley. What, what do you make of it? Struggling in front of goal, conceding, three losses in a row now? Yeah, it's been a... A really disappointing run of form from Arsenal. It looked like Mikel, you know, an ex teammate of mine, I've got Arsenal on a different level. They seem to be playing nice, flowing football and taking the opportunities and, and putting the games away pretty early on and commanding victories. But the last three games, something's obviously lacking, whether it's fatigue or, you know, it's a question that Mikel needs to find a solution for. But obviously, you know, that top four, it's getting exciting now. Tottenham in it are now in probably pole position for that you know they've got more home games to play you know um so they're the favorites but you know arsenal need to find a solution they want to be in champions league again you know they've been out of that champions league for far too long for the, the club the size of arsenal and mikel his ability Bully, we seem to have lost team. your audio can you hear me oh uh, yes i can hear you oh yeah. you're back now sorry you were saying yeah yeah no sorry um yeah what i'm saying about mikel you know with with his Arsenal team, how he gets them playing free-flowing football, it was working for him. It looked like he, he's turned the corner with Arsenal, but unfortunately, the last three games, they've been very disappointing and something seems to be lacking. And it's up to Mikel to find that solution and turn the Arsenal season around. You know, Tottenham are now in a pole position for four, but it's exciting times for the, for the fans for that, that final position in the fourth place in the Premier League. OK, Jose, what is your, your take in this race for, for, for spot Champions League football? Because I'm looking at the importance of that for each club. Now, for Manchester United, of course, they would want it, but at the same time, if you would think that they have the appeal being Manchester United to still get, effectively, players whoever they want. Whereas Tottenham, they have Harry Kane, they have Antonio Conte, who might leave the club, which is a big problem, of course, for them if they don't get Champions League football. And for Arsenal to get Champions League, well, it would have been a bonus considering where they were a year ago with no European football. So it won't be the end of the world for them. What do you reckon? I definitely agree with you and what you say. I think Arsenal, to be honest, it will, at, the, at, the, at the end now is when you play in everything for an Arsenal are, are losing. You know, So at the end, everything that you've been doing for the whole season because they, they've been doing, obviously, with a very young squad, Arteta has been doing an amazing job there and still, for me, an incredible manager and is going to be there, hopefully, for many years because I really like him. Um, you know, but at the end, when you're playing for everything, when you're playing to try to get in the top four, is when you're losing points. So everything that you've done before, it doesn't count, really, you know, more or less now. So, like you said, Tottenham, like you said, they have a lot to lose because Conte probably leave. I'm not sure about that, but Harry Kane definitely would want to leave if they don't play Champions League. But the one who lose the most of, out of these three definitely is United. It's a massive club. You know, Ronaldo is there. Uh, they have many, they spend many, so much money in, in many players, you know, that uh, they've been maybe not as good as, as the, you expect. And obviously, they have the, all the pressure for me is more in United than anybody. Even if Tottenham with Conte, I believe that they are the ones who want to be in his top four. Uh, even if Arsenal would love them to finish top four as well. Uh, you know, not United, 100%. <laughs> you know, but definitely, definitely, I think the more pressure that of these three teams is up to United. United have to play Champions League to keep these kind of wages and transfer fees and, and all of that going on. Yeah. Okay.